All right, this is Bud with Team Dominator, and welcome to uh, Tire Kingdom. We're gonna go through a quick install, real quick. Actually, gotta open the door. Grab the keys from the manager. Run out here. The first thing what we did is we popped this panel off right here. Just take those screws all out, and then right here where this one's at, where this Garmin unit is that we installed, we uh, there was a another GPS system here. We removed that and to cover up the holes we went ahead and put our own mount there. We ran our wires underneath the dash so we didn't have to drill any extra holes. And once this panel's off you can take this panel off that this is in and this panel off as well where you can remove the old GPS system. We wired directly into their aftermarket uh, starter, master switch right here. This starts the truck. Turn this key all the way on. You can get your true ignition and your true power from this harness. And this is your button to start the truck. The antenna is also underneath the dash. This is nothing but plastic up here. And we zip tied everything right up underneath this, this control panel and bundled all our wires up. There's going to be a, we ran our, our sensor wire underneath here. If you go underneath the dash, You'll notice that there's a hole right here. If you can see it, I'm not sure you can or not. But there's a wire right here that goes from here underneath the truck, follows the frame, as you can see right here with loomed wire, all the way down. Pull this up, come all the way back. Here, you'll see where we ran our our wire tied into this cable here. Oops, this cable right here, which is actually your door sensor. These come with tag. They, every time they close the doors on these, they're tagged, so you have to get with the management team. And you'll notice that our door sensor is right here. It's all it's normally open. And then when the magnet, which is right here, you can see that it needs to stay within an inch because you have a two and a half inch play, but you want to get as close as you can in case this door goes up and down. So once you get that, you call it in. Call it in the VMI or whoever the uh, GPS installation company is, and you make sure that the sensor is reading with the GPS system. And by the way, on this particular GPS system, which is a uh, Fleetronic system for Tire Kingdom, it's going to be the blue wire that we're hooking the sensor switch to. It doesn't matter which side of the switch you hook it to and the other side is grounded. Once you uh, once you act, once you get this thing installed, the CPS installed and everything's installed, make sure you write down all the information on the truck, including the ID number, which is right there on this truck, license plate, the uh, VIN number, which is on the door, and on the inside of the door. Call it in. Turn the key on, leave it on for at least five minutes while you're waiting to get a hold of somebody from the company. And that way all the firmware and everything can download and you should be done. Install usually takes about 30 minutes and you can rock and roll. If you have any problems, you give us a call and we'll help you through it.